Hey everybody, this is Midnight Update. I'm Seamus Byrne. Welcome to Thursday, 26th of February. Tonight we have part two of my exclusive video interview with Ruslan Kogan, founder of Kogan Technologies. We talk a bit more about the products that the company currently has in the lineup and what they have in store for the year ahead. Let's get right to it. Perhaps it's worth for some people who might not know too much about what's kind of currently in the pro in the uh, product range, and then uh, what are some of the new products that you you plan to have come online over the next uh, few months? Yeah, well, currently in the product range is LCD TVs and everything from 16 inch through to 47 inch, and um, a lot of them also have the option of built-in DVD players and the ability for playing back movies like AVIs and things like that, and SD card slots and USB slots. We also have digital photo frames ranging from 7 inch through to 15 inch. We've got Blu-ray players. Um, GPS's, GPS watches, um, a whole heap of accessories like uh, gold plated HDMI cables and wall mounts. Our exciting products that are coming up in the next couple of months is the netbook. We're going to launch a 10.1 inch netbook. We've also got our BD 2.0 uh, Blu-ray players which will have all the internet connectivity and um, yeah we're also still working on our Android phone which we hope to release to the market very soon. Can you think of any specific features that you've been able to add um, to some of your products that you know would previously have been considered high-end? Yeah, definitely. Things like uh, the range of TVs I spoke about with DVD players. Um, it's very rare, even if you look at all the big brands now, to find one with a built-in DVD player. On top of that, it's even rarer to find one that's capable of playing back movie files, and audio files and pictures that has SD input and USB inputs. Um, that's something that, you know, it's none of it's new technology. It's just a matter of putting that sort of product together based on current technology that's out there which our users have really embraced and you know they're using and they love it because they spend a lot of time on the net they're downloading a lot of content which they want to easily play on their TV but it's something that other brands haven't recognized even though they had capacity to develop these products they haven't and you know even if they did ours are smashing the competition on price you also earlier today mentioned um, that OLED might not be too far away but there's obviously a few initial hurdles to get past yeah, definitely. Um, the technology is very new, so the companies that develop the technology, uh, they'll milk the market at the start, you know, they'll charge their super high price tags to get as much back as they can for it. Shortly after that, they have to pay off their R&D costs, so it will that technology will become available to Kogan. But that said, um, you know, we're, we're probably a couple months away from that, but, you know, that's not often the case. Like, we were the first digital photo frame in the country. So some products might might have this sort of lag, but, you know, in others, we're, we're at the forefront. We had the first 46-inch LCD TV in the country, first digital photo frame in the country. Um, and OLED is something that we'll introduce very soon, but it won't have a $10,000 price tag attached to it. It'll be 80 or 90 percent cheaper. There is that interesting element of the the economic climate and um, uh, you know there's people like you know Jerry Harvey out there who, who like to say everybody's you know if, if he's not doing well nobody's doing well so you know what's your take on I guess the the value that online has there? Well especially in times like this we're gaining market share and I attribute that to the fact that we have the best value for money product offering. Anyone who would have walked into a conventional store um, a year ago and just slap their credit card down on a you know big brand purchase will now think twice about their purchase they'll look around online they'll compare they'll look at specs prices product offerings and make an educated decision when a consumer goes through that whole process they're much more likely to make a purchase from Kogan in terms of Jerry Harvey well he said a few comments about you know not being interested in the online market space I I'm of the view that, you know, in times like this and especially when people are looking for value and where people are becoming more and more educated about the products they buy, you have to be looking online. You have to have a presence online. You know, I really disagree with some of the views that he's expressed and I'd be more than happy at any time to 
debate them with him in an open forum, but I think that online retail is the way to go. It's where the educated consumers are. It's where the best prices are. It's where it's easiest to look at products and compare products. So, you know, I view conventional retail as a very olden type of business model and yeah, online retail's the way to go and, you know, unless Jerry changes his views very soon, I'd be more than happy to, you know, debate it with him in a public arena or even in the business arena as our business is doing on a daily basis, showing him how our sales are growing. I don't know about you, but I'd like to see Harvey and Kogan duke it out to see who's got the best business model for the 21st century. Now, before we go, I thought I should belatedly mention who won our weekly prize for this week. Uh, the winner is James Woods. Congratulations, James. You've won the Netcom My Land Cam in all its wonderful video IP camera glory. Now we'll get back to the regular schedule of weekly prizes on Monday. That's all for tonight's update. Thanks for stopping by. You can join us weeknights around midnight Sydney time for Daily Geek News. And for more coverage, visit midnightupdate.com.